Well, welcome back, everyone, to another mod showcase. It's been so long since I sat down to record one of these. I'm so excited. Welcome back, everyone. In case if you guys aren't familiar, this is our little weekly showcase of the mods that made it to the Nexus over the past week. I do want to thank you guys for stopping by, especially for such a short episode. We only have three mods in question today, which is actually a new record for a new low. But listen, they're all really amazing mods, so be sure to wait until the end to see them all. But I do want to thank you guys for stopping by. Before we do get started, I do want to make note, know this everyone, mods are not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at your own risk. So be sure to follow all the instructions in order to make sure that your game doesn't get corrupted or anything. If you follow all the instructions that we do have laid out over our YouTube channels, me, Nick, I think Level Wolf has a few as well, you guys should be totally fine. But without further ado, I know you guys are all here for the wonderful mods this week. So today, we're going to get started with the Rothschild Giraffe. This one is by Narwhaler. In fact, both of our animals this week are by Narwhaler. Do keep that in mind. Uh, but this one is a beautiful, beautiful mod. You could already tell Narwhaler put so much love into it just by the skin alone. He hand-painted these guys, and you can really tell just how much he cares about these. So in case if you guys aren't familiar, the Rothschild Giraffe is also known as the Five-Horned Giraffe. That is because it kind of looks like it has five horns on its head. We're going to go to our alternative camera right over here. We can see them having a little baby right now. That's a little, little cute. But if we do pause it right here, we can see, count them, one, two, three, four, five. So that is really awesome right there. Very subtle stuff, but it's still amazing to see just how much detail Narwhaler can actually pack into his mods. And these guys are so beautiful. I don't actually know where these guys are from, so I guess we could kind of figure all that stuff out. Beautiful Zoopedia as well. These guys are found sort of like in Central Africa, around like, you know, Kenya, South Sudan, Uganda around that uh, Lake Victoria region. These guys are really freaking beautiful. So these guys are perfect for all your zoos and stuff like that, in case if you do want to have a zoo kind of in that area, or like, you know, an African zoo. I know these guys typically are found there. But all that being said, that's the Rothschild giraffe. It looks so stellar. Amazing job, Narwhaler. But moving on, we have another extinct animal. I know, it, 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 listen, this one is probably the best one out there right now. This is a thylacine remaster done by Narwhaler. These guys are so freaking cute. Okay, so in case if you guys don't know, the thylacine was the very first new species mod ever put out for Planet Zoo. In case if you guys don't know, Harlequin's Ego, also known as Jesse, was the first one to make this uh, alongside a ooh, ooh, uh oh, that's a little sussy. We're gonna look at a different one. There we go. Okay, no, they're all just gonna do that. Trust me guys, these guys look perfect nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> but this one was originally made by, uh, in case if you guys don't know, Hendrix and Harlequin's Ego. But over the time, it's been needing a little bit of a remake. In case if you guys aren't aware, the thylacine is actually a marsupial. So that means it kind of like found its way along. Right alongside, you know, like kangaroos, koalas and stuff. So they are closer related to those guys than they are dogs and wolves, which, you know, they kind of do look like. So they do have a pouch, which is very interesting. I find that just so wild and bizarre to have, but that is all about the thylacines. These guys are incredible. In fact, I think we'll spawn in a baby. I just need to turn my UI back on. Oh, enable debug. Uh, I What I'm doing right here isn't really available to the public right now. This is a little bit of a modder's tool. So in case if you guys do mod, hit us up and then you'll be able to access this tool. But over here, I'm just trying to find the thylacine. I am trying to scour my entire list for it. It should be under the T's. It'd be probably better off just waiting for them to breed. Wouldn't that be right? But hey, we're just going to try our best to find these guys. I'm going to try and find the Rothschild as well. I think, is that the Rothschild giraffe? I genuinely don't know. Rip Thyla. Okay. We got to see the baby because they are very adorable. And look at them. Oh my gosh, they're just so tiny. But yeah, that's really amazing, Narwhaler. Amazing job right there. And we're going to check out the baby giraffes as well. Just making sure that these guys are the Rothschild giraffe. And then we go to, starting with R, I hope. Uh, we're going to find the Rothschild. Okay, maybe it is under giraffe. 
I don't really know. Hope you guys are enjoying this little bit of a slower paced episode. I know I don't really have these all too often. I'll tell you what, we'll actually fast forward that so we actually get some while we look at the very last mod. So, Kimono friends, we should probably talk about this a little bit. So in case if you guys don't know, Za and Nick work together to port over every single kimono friend that has a corresponding base game animal and DLC animal. So as you guys can see, we are going through the list right now. American Alligator, American Bison, Arctic Fox. We have 80 new props over here, all custom kimono friends by Za and Nick, and these are my new favorite things in the world. I'm going to be putting these guys in all of my zoos. They are absolutely so adorable. I love the Binturong. Look at it. They're just really interesting designs. So over here, we have what is the Bactrian Camel. Very fluffy hair, kind of like the camel. And we also have stuff like, I don't know, what's this? The Babarusa with the um, little hair tufts looking like the tusks from the Babarusa. They're just very, very cute. And if you guys aren't familiar, the Kimono Friends actually were put in a real life zoo over in Japan for the Humboldt Penguin. And now this one has a bit of a sad story, so join us for Leaf Story Time. I'm even gonna put on the auto depth of field just for this. So they were put in an exhibit with the Humboldt Penguin, but there was this one Humboldt Penguin named Grape Coon who fell in love with this very one right over here. Uh, he could not be separated. They would have to actually separate Grape Coon from our little kimono friend over here as a way to get the penguin to eat because he would just be insufferably attached to this little friend over here. Unfortunately, he did pass away, but kimono friends made sure to immortalize him with his own kimono friend right over there. There's little grape coon right there. So in case if you guys do want to enjoy that little story, definitely go check out this mod. It's so cute. It's so wholesome. And Nick and Zal work so hard on it. So I have to endorse every single one of you guys to go check that out. It's one of my favorites this week. But all that being said, we're going to end our showcase right there. Actually, no, our giraffe is expecting offspring, so we'll delay it for a little bit. We'll just go through the rest of these. Why not? So we do have the sable antelope with like, you know, that little tool being like the horns and stuff. We have the ring-tailed lemur. That is wicked cute as well. We have the plain zebra. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. We have the Indian peafowl. We even have a few other ones as well that really aren't supposed to be here, but they are the main stars of the show, be it the Serval and the Humble Penguin. It's just very cute over there. We also have stuff like the White Lion. We have the Western Lowland Gorilla. We have stuff like the, like the White Rhino. Look at her. Look at her. She's ready for battle. Oh my gosh. We have stuff like the red kangaroo on her little tail. Oh, this is so cute. We have the beaver with a little stick. We have the moose over here. That is badass. Oh my gosh. We have the meerkat looking like a nice little sentry right there. We have the Malayan tape here looking cute, adorable. Oh my gosh. We even have the koala with the little eucalyptus leaf. That is too freaking cute. All right. Let's check out on the progress of our babies over here. Why not? Huh? Uh, do year seven. Uh, how about you bestie? February year seven. Uh, we don't have time for that. I'm just gonna search for these guys over here. Why not, you know? We gotta look at the baby giraffe before we take off, but I do want to thank you guys for stopping by. Um, obviously we did not get any DLC news just yet, but I will give you guys a forewarning. When all that jazz does start to come up, um, I will suggest that all of you guys take all your mods out of your folders. Uh, just make sure that you're going in with a fresh, you know, file. Be sure to separate a modded file from a unmodded file. So if you guys do have any like animals in your trade center, be sure to get rid of those in there. They might change some stuff up. They might break something. I'm really hoping that they don't break anything this time around. That'd be very bad. Um, but in case if they do, definitely do be more safe than sorry. Um, that's something. Here we go. Rothschild, giraffe, juvenile. We could have waited for the entire one to be born by the time I found that one. Uh, and here's the baby. We're actually going to end it with the baby because it's so freaking cute. But I do want to thank you guys for stopping by as always. You guys are wonderful people out there. 
Uh, I really want to thank you guys for stopping by. You guys always mean so much to me. Definitely let me know your favorite mod in the comments down below. It's got to be the Kimono, friends. Um, I'm just saying, it better be. Go download that because Nick and Zaw work so hard on that. But of course, download the Rothschild Giraffe as well as the Thylacine Remaster again as well. Um, all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a wonderful one year of new species mods, and it's been like a whole year of this entire showcase in general. Just want to thank you guys for being here ever since the beginning. It's really great to have you guys here. Um, all that being said, we're going to end our showcase right there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Take care, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now. <laughs>